Boom. First spin, no, we dip. Get back in first spin and we dip. We know it's coming, lads. He knows it's coming too, but can he stop it? Beautiful ball! All right, lads, so let's get straight into it with Beckham's level training. We'll have the bills towards the end of the video. Um, I have that bookmarked as well and chaptered, but Beckham's going to take about 100,000 XP. If you are light on XP, you can just train him up and use my league. I've got a couple of methods up on the channel. But essentially, let's whip Beckham, right? I found after playing with him, and these are all stream highlights. If you want to watch the full raw gameplay test of Beckham, we trained, tra played with him for about three hours. These are just the highlights and showing you. There's a couple of pros and cons, and it's not with Beckham itself. It's just with the gameplay. The gameplay at the moment for eFootball24 it doesn't reward crossers, right? It's like probably about a 10% chance. You can get the ball in into good positions. You can get the ball into the heads of center forwards. But the way that the center forwards attack the ball, you're better off using Beckham as kind of facilitating through the middle. And that's where the gameplay really excels. And Beckham has got a very nice card for that. We'll show you two specific builds. Possession, out wide, crossing the ball in. It's super fun. It's really nice to do it, but it's not rewarded. That's just where the gameplay is at at the moment. You will see time and time again. The attackers just do not attack it with any sort of prowess, right? And you can get into brilliant positions, but I still think Beckham is better off just kind of facilitating everything from a more central position. That's not a Beckham. That's not a card issue with him. That's not a build issue with him. It's just the gameplay balance at the moment is more centrally based. Now, again, we get the ball in here. Left wing, right wing, doesn't matter. We still get the ball onto the dome. Kaka and Jair both miss. Collar misses. And you can score. It's probably about a 10, 15%. Obviously, there is a couple of glitch ways as well. But you will see there, right, in this game, predominant, predominantly in the first half, we crossed every single ball we got out. We had 10 crosses in, as you see there, in the first half. We didn't cross anything in the second half. In the first half, we had no goals. In the second half, we had three goals, all from central positions. So as I said, it's kind of wrong to really judge Beckham on that. But that's just something. You know, there's no point really carrying a crosser, you, sh you know, in your team if you're looking to cross the ball in. That is why I would play Beckham as kind of a facilitator, using his card with his skills, his stats, and his build for a central midfielder, attacking midfielder type position that is able to hug out wide and use the wit to be able to spread like this. So we're going to show you two specific builds of him and the breakdown, right? The first one is going to take into, in, into consideration that we're going to be starting him on the right flank as part of a 3-5-2, and we're going to be using an out wide formation. And of course, it's going to be all about the sub tactic. This is where I think Beckham excels, where you have an overhang or an overloaded right flank or left flank with your AMF manually positioning the players. You've got one tall, one small in midfield uh, or up front, and you've got your two man pivot in midfield defensively and attacking. Beckham is going to slot in. Now for this build here, it's more about his speed, his acceleration, his balance at 85, and of course his passing, dribbling, tight possession. That's the big one with this card is the tight possession because you're going to be getting the ball out from a wide position to be able to control it and be able to swing the ball in as well with a lot of crosses. I would say try and spread the ball out, touch and go on the width with this build. And also we threw outside curler on him as well. So if you want to turn back and kind of swing it in with the right side of the, or the outside of his right boot, you can do that as well. He does have brilliant player skills, edge crossing, pinpoint crossing. We also could, if you wanted to, and you do have it at your you know, disposal, you could give him ball roll, right? Or advanced double touch or special double touch, which is going to be double touch, flip flap and soul control, right? You could do that. But this is the build that we've gone for for the first right-sided, I'm going to call him Manchester United Beckham. Crossing, you know, cutting in a little bit every now and again, doesn't need much shooting, and he's going to be more kind of an out wide player that kind of roams in rather than a center player that roams out wide, okay? So there's the build that you see there on the screen, 4, 11, 11, and 8. Is going to be the bulk of his, his breakdown there. But as I said, this is going to be an inverted kind of winger, right? Or sorry, an inverted center midfielder where he's going to start central and go out wide rather than the opposite way around. It's going to be all about stretching it out wide, right? Instead of it being predominantly a central player, you are going to be manually focusing on the sub-tactic a little bit. And I think sub-tactic works for Beckham because he is a crossing specialist, but you can train him in a different way. Now, as I said, if you want to throw double touch or flip flap or anything like that, you can do it. Then on the flip side of it, right, we're going to use a Beckham card that is going to start out wide, but his main position is going to be central, if that makes sense, right? And we're going to show you that he's going to be kind of like 
starting out wide, but his main position is going to be attacking or central midfield. Now, we actually got lucky and we got Beckham as uh, a player proficiency or his team uh, position proficiency that we were able to get this. We're going to move Beckham in here, but you can play him instead of Nedved or Gerrard. You can hang him on the right. You can put Gerrard through the middle. It doesn't really make a difference. I'm just showing this with the sub tactic to make a point on it, but this is what you can do. And this is the build for him here as well. So it's kind of like an inverted um, kind of like system that you're going to have where you move everything around to go back from a four at the back into a three. And this is the stat breakdown of Beckham. One big difference in this one is that his tight possession dribbling and ball control around 85, 86, but his balance is going to be higher. His acceleration is going to be higher. And of course, that finishing is going to be 85 because we want to shoot with Beckham to get the most out of this card from an attacking midfielder, center midfielder type position. OK, so, yeah, it's a difficult card to rate, lads. Honestly, um, it's a super fun card to use, but I think the gameplay at the moment, I'm hoping to see that change. There's the progression points for Beckham there, 5, 2, 7, 13 into decks, and then a little bit onto his kick and power and, of course, his speed and stamina with the lower body strength. But it's more of a kind of an issue with the game and a, you know, a complaint with the game at the moment with the gameplay that you are used to going through central. You'll get more rewarded for it rather than out wide. But he's a super fun player to use. We got him in one spin that you saw, as you saw at the start of the video. Let me know what you guys think. Is this like, you know, a meta version of Beckham in your opinion? I think he's really, really good and fun to play with. But let me know what you guys think. That's just a quick review with gameplay, two training builds. And I definitely think you need to use sub tactic with him. But let me know what you guys think. Don't forget.